Okay, um, welcome back. And this is a little bit different of a live stream setup uh, than using my big camera. Um, so hopefully this doesn't suck, but uh, no guarantees. I may need to reshoot this video. Um, so if this is awful and you can't understand me, uh, then so be it. I will reshoot this video. Okay, uh, what we're going to be discussing in this video is how to design and draw pavement paths and just, just pavement structures. Okay, um, seems pretty simple, but in reality, it can be a little complex. Uh, so the first thing that I'm going to do is open up my drawing and... Uh, when I'm opening up my drawing, I always get this error message, so gotta wait for it to load. Come on, there we go. Got to silence this all of a sudden. My phone decided to explode. Um, Okay, so when last we left off, uh, this was the way that the design looked. Um, I did mess with this a little bit in a different view, but uh, that's where we're at. This is really all that we have, okay? Um, now, I am going to go in here quickly. No, I won't, because all of these zones are set up as a weird place. We can always fill them in later. That's fine. Now, before anything, I'm going to make sure that my zones as a whole uh, are set to my zones layer. So if I select all of this, you'll notice it all shows up as zones. Uh, that's where I want it to be. I want to be looking at zones. Okay. So everything is at zones. Because now I'm going to jump in here and I'm going to be creating pavement. So I'm going to be on a pavement layer, and uh, then I'm going to shut off the zones layer. So now I can't see any of that. Oh no! No, I'm going to turn. I'm going to turn it on just briefly. Okay. What I'm going to do at the start of this is uh, this whole thing here is going to be a a, uh, a parking lot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw lines. It's going to go and cover this entire space. Parking lot. Done. Okay. And I'm not going to delete this because I don't want to delete it. I just drew over that. Now I have a parking lot general space uh, that has been built. Off of my parking lot, I'm going to uh, have a, I'm going to have a sidewalk that goes all the way around the parking lot. Uh, now that sidewalk I don't want it to just be connected to the parking lot. I'm not going to have any curbs on my parking lot. This is going to be a little bit more open space. Uh, something that's just, just a giant piece of blacktop uh, that, that you park your car on. We'll go out there and paint some lines on there or something. Okay, Nothing too pretty. Uh, nothing too standard. Just, just a very cheap parking lot. Um, and then I'm going to have some grassy space and then a walkway that's going to go all the way around it. And I'm going to have a walkway that goes from the parking lot to my walkway. And uh, great. Now you can you can put in a curb. You can have a walkway right next to this. Generally, you don't want to put a sidewalk right next to a parking lot unless there's some kind of a curb uh, or some kind of a space. I'm allocating those space because we have a lot of space in this uh, in this park so why not um, also if i were to uh, jump into my google maps maps dot um, what i'm picturing here when i'm looking at the parking lots is i'm actually looking at uh oh 
Hot Doan. Oh, what is the name? I just completely forgot the name of it. Um, it's this lake over here. Holmes Lake. Where are you, Holmes Lake? Holmes Lake, there it is. Okay, so just looking in general at Holmes Lake, big, big lake, nice lake. Uh, go ahead and switch to the, uh, the satellite view. Okay, and if we zoom in on the satellite view here, you'll notice here's some parking lots. Um, these parking lots don't have, I mean, there, there's a sidewalk that connects to it. Uh, there's no curbs on any of these. There's no curbs on any of these roads either. Uh, if you had a road that went through your park and you wanted to design a road through your park, you probably wouldn't need to connect roads here either because apparently you can do that with uh, a park. Uh, roads have access to the different parking lots that are on here. Now, I don't know if our space is quite big enough that we can have a road that drives all the way through it. Um, but it's, it's always something to consider, you know, if, if a parking lot here and then just a lot of empty space, how are you going to get from here to here? Would it be more accessible to split up this parking space into here's some parking that's right, really close to the play structure. Here's some parking that's over here. Now, quite frankly, 400 feet by 600 feet isn't, uh, to me, I don't know. I wouldn't put in two parking lots. Uh, I think one parking lot is good, uh, but you know what? This is your space. You have the ability to design as you want. You can put multiple parking lots in. It might be nice if you have a parking lot here, a parking lot here, maybe a parking lot uh, over by, uh, if you have a sports field or something, it might be nice to have a parking lot by the sports field uh, so that people can come in here and, and maybe people drive all the way through your park uh, to get from one side to the other. Maybe you have a bridge that goes over. I don't know. This is this is your park. There are a number of different things you can do uh, with it. But for me, I'm going to have all my parking down here in one corner. Um, yeah. So what I'll start off by doing is I will create an offset distance of 12 feet, which is 144 inches. Um, just going to create... There, 144 inches away from the edge of the parking lot is where uh, my sidewalk's gonna start. I got 12 feet of separation. I'm just gonna go ahead and extend this out. Then I'm gonna go ahead and extend this one to it. And then zoom in, shrink it down. Again, you can do this however you want. That's just the way that I do it. So now I have the start of a sidewalk. I will finish the bounds of that sidewalk uh, by offset again. Uh, this time I want my sidewalk to be 48 inches wide. So we'll go ahead and offset both of those. Now we have a four foot sidewalk here too. Um, you know what? Nah. Internal sidewalks, they're not city sidewalks. I'm going to go ahead and make them, I'm going to go ahead and make them six feet. Okay, that will give enough space that you can have somebody with a bike go on uh, this pathway. And I want to make sure that I, I connect all of my pathways up. So I'll just generally have six feet wide sidewalks because I like bikes. Okay, so offset. Uh, I'll change this to now 72 inches. 72 means I have six feet. I'll do the same thing over here. Just connect them, drag it over to the left. Drag this up, drag this over here, okay? So now I have a six foot wide parking lot that's 12 feet away, well, walk space that's now 12 feet away uh, from this parking lot, okay? Uh, to get here, uh, I'll go ahead and, uh, you know, just draw a couple lines. Um, this is at a midpoint. Um, now let's see, how far away from this sidewalk do I want it to be? Oh, I don't remember what that distance is. This has been a week since I've touched this, so I'm gonna go ahead and dimension from this line. 
to this line and that dimension distance is uh, zoom in because oh gross there it is see that white dot that's the dimension it's 190 feet problem is that we set up all of our dimensions to be for here uh, we don't really have any dimensions set up for in here so you know what I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna create a brand new dimension style and I'm just gonna call it drafting okay uh, drafting is gonna be uh, I'm just gonna take oh no no never mind cancel I'm going to uh, no. Yeah, no, it's it starts with standard, so that's right. I'm gonna call it drafting. Continue. Go in here, and the only thing I'm gonna change is that instead of being 0.75, this is gonna be friggin' huge, uh, 300. Okay. Okay. So now I have this drafting standard. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and it switches to drafting automatically. So now when I take a dimension and I go want to go from here to here I can actually read that in this view uh, now I don't want this I don't want this to show up uh, so I'm either gonna delete it or I can go in here uh, create a brand new layer that's called construction okay and what I'll do for construction is I will make it a color that doesn't print so here construction I'll make it a color that, that shines on this view, maybe a bright orange. Okay, I don't want it to print, I don't want it to show up at all. Uh, there we go. And I would put in a description that says this is for construction purposes. Now if I just change this to construction, it still shows up, I can still read it, uh, but it won't print, um, and I can shut it off on, on other uh, on other views. Okay, so I know I have 190 feet here. Um, okay, so still on my pavement layer. Uh, I'm probably going to want to put maybe maybe 40 feet in. I'll put a, a sidewalk here that goes from uh, this to that and uh, maybe 40 feet in here I'll have a sidewalk that, that goes across and have this be a uh, let's see, this is my meeting space. Uh, no, I'm probably going to want to have a structure here. Well, we'll focus on the the sidewalks of how to get into uh, the play area first. Okay, so um, I like straight lines. Straight lines are fun. I'm going to draw a line over here that's 40 feet long. It's 480 inches. Long. Now this is on top of this other line, so it doesn't show up. Um, then I'll just draw it and extend it all the way up to the playground space. I'll offset this by 72 inches again. Drag it over here. Enter. Okay. And then I'll want to do the same down here. Okay. I will draw an extension line, which means I haven't clicked yet. Um, or I can just drag and drop and come back in later and edit. Here I want my sidewalk to look nice. So I'll go ahead and drag these lines. Uh, but it doesn't look nice because this sidewalk has this weird thing in the middle of it. Which I don't like. Gross. So I'm going to go ahead and trim. Okay. Uh, trim. It says pick cutting edges or just hit enter. I'm going to just hit enter because I want everything to be a cutting edge. And then what I'll do is I'll click here in the middle and here in the middle. And what it does is it cuts this one line into now two lines that has that hole in the middle. So now my, my sidewalk is a little bit more continuous right here. But I don't like these cut hard cut corners. That's not all that nice. So... What I'm going to be doing instead of having these hard cut corners 
uh, is I'm going to be putting in a fillet. Okay, so for a fillet, you go up here, click on fillet, or you can type in fillet. The first thing it wants you to do is select one object, select another object. Well, before you can really do a fillet, uh, you have to change a radius. Because the radius, you'll notice, is at zero. Uh, that's not good. That's not what you want. Uh, so we have to define a radius that is slightly larger than zero. Um, so for me, I'm going to say I want a radius of about six feet. So uh, 72 inches, I'll go ahead, click these two lines, and you'll see that creates a nice fillet in between them. A radius of six feet, which means that it's a 12 foot diameter circle. Um, and I can go ahead and do that uh, again here. Uh, and I can do it again here, or I can go ahead and, since I know I have two more to do, I'm gonna go ahead and hit multiple that one, pick that one, hit enter or escape to quit out of it. And this was the line that I created at the start. Uh, I don't want it anymore. Go away. Well, there we go. Now I have this nice little intersection here or walkway that goes out into my road. Now I kind of want my walkway that goes onto my road to also have a nice fillet. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that one more time. Click multiple. Uh, have that go like that, have this go like that. All right. Now this poses kind of an issue because if you look at this, this line right here is the zones. I just completely messed that up by uh, making this zones, and some of my some of my lines are not very happy right now as a result. Uh, I forgot to trim my lines. So I will hit undo, undo, and I'm gonna shut off my zones, okay? Now, I know what I'm working with right now then is pavement lines, okay? And then uh, trim a line, hit enter again, cut this here. So now it's continuous, or at least it looks nice. Uh, and then I'm going to fill it these edges it's already set at 72 inches so I don't have to worry about that and there we go that is nice uh, now I will say this pavement uh, is it's a little different um, I'm probably gonna have to create a couple layers for this but this pavement here is not quite the same as the sidewalk the sidewalk has uh, I believe a four inch fill. Um, I guess we'll get to it another time. Um, it has a, a four inch fill and uh, the pavement probably is going to be six or seven inches deep. So there's a little bit of a difference there. I guess we'll get to that. Uh, while I'm on it, I'm just going to go ahead and fill up this edge right here. It's not fillet by the way. I know spelled fillet but it's it's actually fill it um, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, create my drive throughs drive throughs are how do you get to the street to uh, into this um, structure I'm gonna have this sidewalk that goes all the way around it so my my parking lot will end at the sidewalk so trim and enter Cut this off, cut that off. So now my, uh, my parking lot is bounded by this street sidewalk. Do it again over here. Okay, and then do it again here, here, and here because I want this sidewalk to connect here. I'm going to draw a line quickly connecting across here just because uh, this creates a, an enclosed space where uh, uh, my, my parking lot is. So here's my parking lot. Here's my sidewalk. Oop, I need to clean up down here. Let me go trim again. Delete, 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 delete. There we go. 
And I have a, a pretty a pretty sidewalk. Uh, I'll go ahead and fill up the connections again just to make it even prettier because you know click multiple because I want to do this multiple times. There we go. So now I have my sidewalks, got my parking lot. Uh, I may end up putting this parking lot on a different uh, a different layer entirely. In fact, I probably should. So I will rename this pavement sidewalk. Make sure you can see if I actually stretch this out. And then I'll name this pavement uh, parking lot. Okay, and we can change it to a different color. I don't want to. We've already got our, our play surface. Um, so if I needed to, to do pavement underneath there, uh, which I would probably do parking lot again, uh, but I, I can use that play surface. So I'll go ahead and take these lines here, this line here, and this line here. And I will turn that into the parking lot. And then I'm going to quickly switch to the parking lot and draw the remaining boundaries. So now, if I shut off the sidewalk layer, um, you can see that that's, that's what I'm looking at. That's my parking lot. Similarly, if I shut this off, which gives me the warning label that I'm doing so, and I turn back on my sidewalk, uh, I can see that the sidewalk is, looks like that. I'm going to switch my current layer here. I'm going to draw another line that goes there so that my sidewalk just doesn't suddenly end. And there we go. I've now created a single access point uh, to my parking lot, which I'm going to do again over here. Nah, nah. I guess because it's so close to that sidewalk, I probably should push this like over here so that you can either walk this way or maybe walk this way. It's about 40 feet. I might, I might just go ahead and shut off the parking lot, take these, and move them 480 inches this way. 80 feet between here and here, a little bit of a separation, but still a nice funnel um, for, for going in to the uh, play structure. And I do have to adjust these lines quickly. And there we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep going and doing this and I can turn on my zones if I need to, uh, to see where I'm looking at. Probably gonna have playground that goes all, probably gonna have a walkway that goes all the way around here. I'm probably gonna have some kind of a, a walkway that goes right through the middle. Uh, it'll separate this into two different playgrounds, but we'll worry about that at another time. I'm probably going to have some bushes, some nice pretty things to look at, maybe some fencing. Um, I think the overall start is I want to have some kind of a walkway that goes through here. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and switch to my construction. Draw a line, kind of mark that's where that corner is. Because um, now I'm going to shut off the zones again. And now that corner of the play structures is there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a feature called spline. Uh, splines are, are nice, pretty ways of uh, creating lines that kind of curve a little bit. Ah, 
Dang. I'm going to try again. And you'll notice I am in the construction layer. So I will probably need to uh, switch that at some point. Now, the whole reason I'm using a spline is because I, I want my pathway to be a little bit. Um, and then I'm going to hit. Uh, enter to end it. I want my pathway to be a little bit more colorful than simply just a line. Um, I think you're able to offset splines. Uh, go ahead and put it on this side. And yes, you are. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and take this, change it to sidewalk. So now it looks like a sidewalk, it's pretty. Uh, we're gonna have to do some cleanup work over here uh, to meet these. So I will go ahead and trim, uh, hit enter, cut off the end of this line, cut off the end of this line, cut off this here. Uh, and then I'm gonna create a six foot fillet here. So fillet. 72 inches is already set at the radius. That's what it says right there. Um, so I'll click these two. Oh, can't, can't. Why can't it? Well, because quite frankly, uh, splines struggle. And I think my last point was somewhere up here. And I would actually have to destroy that point in order to create that big of a fillet. So this is gross. How are, you, how are we going to fix this? Well, um, I'm actually just going to draw a different sidewalk here. It comes down like this and then we'll have this playground space here and we'll have this playground space over here and maybe some play structures down here okay um, I'm gonna go ahead and connect these two sidewalks so and have this be maybe 120 inches 100 120 feet which would be one, four, four, zero. And have it meet up here. Um, and I'll change that line later. Um, and then this will create this play space that I'm also going to create a spline that goes here. I guess you'll see it when I get there. So go ahead and extend this over. Offset 72, click this, let it go up here. Uh, now this line doesn't, no longer meets up here, so that's gross. Okay, go ahead and change to sidewalk, because that's what I'm doing. Okay, so we're back at sidewalk. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and trim quickly, uh, hit enter, trim, trim, trim. Okay, we're good. Oh, I forgot to draw my splines up here. I will do that quickly. I'm actually going to have a, you know what, I'm just going to create a spline that goes here and ends down here. Just kind of a funky way of having some pave, pavement, so go with a spline uh, now here uh, I want my starting point to be an extension off this line about uh, about 40 feet so we'll go uh, 480 from that line you'll notice that's where the starting point is here okay so this is starting point for my spline we'll go up a little bit Uh, you know what? I'm going to connect right there. Why not? Have it loop out. And then I want this one to end at a point that is an extension of that line right there. And then I will hit enter to end it. You can do a little bit of cleanup work on the spline to make that tangent or perpendicular, whatever. I don't care enough. So. Just going to go ahead and offset this by um, 72 inches, click on this side, uh, and escape. So here now I have 
two walkways. Clean these up a little bit. Trim. I really doubt. Yep. This. Have to extend that up there. Anytime you offset, it doesn't always uh, doesn't always make things pretty. Cut you, cut you, cut you, cut you, cut you. Kind of a funky five ways star intersection. Oh, and I can't. Yeah, I mean I can cut this, but I'm gonna have to take this line. And make it go down there. So there we go. I've created kind of a funky star shaped walkway here. Um, so if you're at this end of the parking lot and you want to get to this end of the park, you kind of have to go around. Okay. Um, so that's fun. Uh, very quickly, I'm going to just go back and look at here. Now, this is my meeting zones. In my meeting zones, I'm going to probably have some structure here. Um, I'm going to want a lot of, of walking space and I'm probably going to make this a little bit more grid oriented. So uh, I'll have a, a walkway that goes all the way around uh, the play area here on this side. Um, and then it goes down and it's probably perpendicular here. Uh, there'll be benches and seating and, and I'll probably have some brick patios over here with maybe, maybe I'll put a couple of, of structures to, to gather or under uh, but this will be kind of the main gathering place um, so once again gonna switch to construction draw a line and mark where the edge of the meeting zone is and do that on the other side too you can always come back in and delete those lines later um, they're on a specific layer just to be trash so okay switching back to pavement sidewalk shutting off my zones all right I'm going to go ahead and take this line and I know I just trimmed it it's the irony I'm going to extend it out to just above this vertical line okay so I could draw a line go straight down there in fact I I plan on it one that goes just like this. Okay, take this line and also extend it out here. Um, I can offset this line, 72 inches. Have it go right there. Great. Trim to clean up. Clean, clean. Um, go ahead and trim that one too. Awesome. My construction line that's right here I can select it if I just do that and I can delete it or I can go into the construction layer itself and actually edit that um, and now I'm gonna have a vertical line extending from that point all the way down here uh, and another vertical line going from here up to there okay we'll do our offset distance uh, it's gonna be 72 inches again I'm gonna go ahead and offset this one and gonna go ahead and offset this one now I am offsetting it into the playground zone but that's uh, it's whatever go ahead and trim some of these to make them pretty trim 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 Trim, trim, trim. Trim, trim, trim. Trim. And trim. Okay. And I will go back in here and fix some of these corners later uh, when I uh, when I care about it. Maybe. Maybe not in this video. Oh. Trim. Go away. And go away. And you know what? You go away too. There we go. So everything's pretty. Okay. And I got here's my meeting space. I got my big meeting space. I got my smaller meeting spaces. Um, 
we'll probably do is I want a line right in the center. We're just going to split this into two nice even spaces. Uh, and here, my offset, I'm going to change it from 72 to half of 72. And then I'm going to offset this line this way and this way. And uh, now what I do is I now I have a 72 inch wide pathway. I can delete the center and it's exactly in the center there. Okay. And then I'm going to go to trim. I'll just trim that as huge. So now I got my meeting spaces. I got my playground spaces. I got my parking spaces. Uh, and over here, this is where, um, yeah. Now I'm actually, as a part of mine, and you don't have to do this, uh, I'm going to create a lake. And to start my lake, have this lake be uh, a lighter blue color. I don't think I'm using that color blue. I'm not. So just going to create a lake. Okay. Switch to my lake. Now this is going to be a man-made lake. Uh, I'm not going to put the details on how to make this lake in here, but you know what? Just going to create a lake. Maybe this lake, yeah, no, it's, it's going to be something that I create. I'm going to go ahead and use spline. Again, splines don't tend to be very, uh, they're not very exact, uh, but they do create very interesting contours. Uh, that can be used in a design so and then I'm going to hit C for close and it just closes it so that it's one continuous spline okay and that's my like so what I'm gonna have for my open space is I'm gonna have some benches, some seating, some walkways. I may even have a bridge that goes across the lake. Um, fun things that I can do here. So I'll go back and switch to uh, my sidewalk. Uh, and then I will draw a couple more splines. Okay, this spline is going to start, and have it start from here. So straight outward. And then, you know what, I'm actually going to have it go across this as such. And we'll have it go up, uh, I don't know, um, 60 feet. So 720 feet, it will connect to the end here. And then I'll just hit enter, and that's, that's my spline. It's a nice straight line, not very exciting. Offset this by 72 inches, put it in, bam, done. There's one pathway. Now I want another pathway that's going to go around the lake like here, um, all the way around. Okay, I'm not going to have any specific walkways on this end. Uh, just, I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll put a structure or something here, maybe some, a bunch of trees, maybe I'll just make this scenic view. Um, but if somebody's going to walk around my lake, they're only going to walk around one side of it, because I'm a jerk. So I'll go ahead and pick another spline, my starting point. Um, let's see. Um, oops. Lost that. Uh, I'm going to come back in here and clean this up. I'm going to make my starting point be... Um, you know what? Create some construction lines. Line here. Let's, let's see. I'm going to go over uh, 80 feet and then down uh, 20 feet. Okay, and this is going to be the start of my spline. So go from this, go back to sidewalks, switch our spline, start it here. Uh, and then I'm just going to try to follow the contour of what I created for this lake. Um, which is always fun, creating contour lines with a spline. The splines are not very exact.
Okay. And then I'll go back in here and clean this up. These two can go away. And I'll go ahead and offset. Again, I want to keep giving me two inches. We'll offset it out this way. Uh, you'll notice this creates a very interesting near intersection. Um, I'm actually going to edit this and force it to intersect. Okay. Oh, it did not intersect. So I'm going to click on this again and uh, force it to intersect. <laughs> Um, because I think that's that would be a nice feature to be able to walk from this sidewalk on here you know, walk across the bridge something like that I go ahead and trim cut off this line this line this line this line that line go over here ah you 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 Undo. Oh, that line just turned blue. Well, it's fine. I just needed to hit accent. Cut this one, cut this one, cut this one, cut this one. Okay, it didn't disappear this time. Whew. I should probably reconnect those yeah so it's a little bit prettier I'll clean up my edges over here some trims just cut you cut you go up here I want to cut you and I want to cut you yay so now I have a nice little bridge little lake I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to create a line, um, specify where I want the, the line to start. Let's see, I want the line to start. We'll go, hmm, 120 feet. Calculator, come save me. 180 feet, 2160. I want this to go. Oh, 180 feet, it's a little bit too far. We're probably going to need to go back to 150 feet. Oh, 1800. Perfect. Okay, so I'll go ahead and draw a line that's 1800. Okay, that line will go there. I'm going to go ahead and change this to sidewalk. And then I'm going to go ahead and delete this construction line that I just created because I don't need it. I'll offset this. Six feet is the standard. Move it over. Enter. Trim. Trim this. Trim this. Trim this. And there we go. That's going to be all of the sidewalks that I create for my park. Okay. Um, now I am going to go in here and I'm going to create some, some play surface structures. Um, more importantly, I'm actually going to pay this with, Oh no, I forgot I turned off my parking lot. Turn it back on. I'm going to pave it with the same parking lot style pavement um, because that will give me a little bit of uh, oh, beauty in here. And I could go back through and fill out all these edges. I probably will at some point. Um, but I probably won't in this video because this video is already very long. Um, I'll go ahead and draw a rectangle. We'll make it Um, change the dimensions so the length for it's going to be 144 or 120 feet by 200 feet for right there nice gigantic it's a little too long so 
shrink it up. Uh, maybe bring it in. I don't know, maybe, maybe 80 feet. So I'm bringing in 960, it's gonna create a perfect square. I'm gonna bring in this side. Uh, it's not gonna be 120 feet, I'll probably bring it in maybe 40 feet. There we go. Now there's one of my playgrounds, it's gonna be like this. And I have another playground that's right here. Maybe something that's like that. Um, but just to make this fun and aesthetic, I'm gonna go ahead and rotate this at a 20 degree angle. Yay. And then I'll move it into position right here. So it's right next to the sidewalk. Okay. Um, and I guess I'll, I'll create a circular one down here. Uh, it'll be at a radius of well, it'll be maybe maybe 40 feet so not too big that's too big I'll move it over here though but I do have space and I can create sidewalks that connect these two uh, play structures but this is this is going to be the pad for playground one this is going to be the pad for playground two um, and then this will be the pad for playground three and this right here is just going to be open uh, trees bushes park benches maybe I'll put in a drinking fountain okay so dimensions on this one let's see I only want this to be 40 feet by by maybe uh, 100 feet something that would fit nicely in this corner right here there is a little bit of an overlap there um i guess that's fine for now if i want to do it properly trim cut this cut this escape and draw a line that connects those two okay so i got playground one two three got all my walkways got my lake everything is set up as far as pavement structures go everything that's paved uh, now i will put in three more concrete pads um, one of them is going to be for a structure here one of them will be for a structure here and one of them will be for a structure here so almost done rectangle um, i'm just going to go ahead and connect this structure here so we'll make the dimensions be, let's see. Structures don't have to be that big. Um, I'm gonna make it 720 by tab of 480. So 60 by 40. And I'll put this about right here. Okay. Um, and then my other two structures are going to be 40 by 20. So 240 tab 480. So let's copy this and move it up here. Maybe move it over to the other side. arrange this as I will around in here okay now I'll create a sidewalk that goes to these and then I'm completely done with pavement so switch to the sidewalk layer line again I want this to go into the center so I will just draw a center line for all three of these And then deal with it with the offset. Change this to 36. Offset this way. 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 
Now my pavement might be a little bit more uh, involved than any of yours, but oh well. Trim, clean this up. And because these are pavement connections to sidewalk, uh, I am going to fill it in with sidewalk. Just draw a line that connects the sidewalk. Um, and I can show you why in a second. Okay, so that way if you go in here, you shut off the parking lots, uh, you don't have loose ends just hanging out. Everything is enclosed. Okay, so there's all my parking structures, my pavement structures. I have this weird bridge that I'm not ever going to define. I'm just we're just going to pretend that craft the river around it or something, um, because the details for designing a bridge are way outside of the scope of this class. But that's it. Um, I'm going to be posting a video on foliage. Uh, it may not be till tomorrow. This video took a lot longer than I expected. Um, but I'm going to go in here and add some foliage here. Uh, I would expect you to be working on this kind of stuff probably this week and, and uh, a little bit into next week. 